So first things first, before we go on with the video, Tom Pemberton Farm Life. He is awesome. He's got a channel here on YouTube about his daily farming life and he's just about to hit the 100,000 subscribers mark. So please head over to Tom Pemberton's Farm Life channel, smack his subscribe button and leave a comment saying, the Hoof GP sent me. Cheers guys, bombard his comments. TV boy. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So, this is the proper reality of farming and hoof trimming in Southwest Scotland. Right now, it's about five to four. It is absolutely freezing outside. I've actually already set it up. There's the crush there. But to be honest, I'm sitting in the pickup right now, <laughs> trying to get up the courage to go outside because it's so cold, wet, and windy. Anyway, and you lot are probably in your beds right now. Oh well, let's go for it. So I don't know if you guys will hear me, but I'm trimming in there right now. And uh, obviously there's no lower part to this shed on this side and normally the wind goes the other way so I'll part the pickup as close as I can get it to try and get some to try and get some relief from the wind and rain but it's not working that well so anyway let's crack on right now and I'll see you at job number two which should be around eight o'clock or half past eight so enjoy the rest of your sleep while I trim these cows. People who just drive past that, uh, not even me. I'm an hour and a half early for this next farm, so I'm just gonna drop my crush off and go home for a well earned or well deserved coffee and biscuit. GP. What? Why would you do that? Are you not making my cup of tea? Mm -hmm. Five to seven and this is his GP is not happy that I've woken up. Oh, this was gonna as well. She thinks I won't put this in the video, but I will. You won't because it'll work here. Any excuse. So for you guys who follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you'll know that we got a new puppy. So this is Mia. She's a year old. And this is Stevie Boy, the cow dog. He's a beast, isn't he? Mm. Cop suits me. And say good morning, YouTube. Morning, Van Van. You all right? Yeah. You have a good sleep? Good morning. So it's absolutely freezing outside, so I haven't gone for a change of head yet. And just as I put it on, I remembered all you guys, well, not all you guys, but a lot of you guys keep asking where to get different things. These guys, hoofshop.co.uk. Go on hoofshop.co.uk and they'll send you whatever you want next day delivery as long as you order it by 3 p.m. and you can get literally everything that I use through that website at probably the cheapest prices I've found. They deliver all over the UK and Europe. Let's go turn some feet. Bye! I love you, bye! The rain is finally starting to ease off a little bit. No, it's gonna affect me here because I'm nice and warm and dry where I'm headed.
cows have already been through the dairy a couple of times today so they might not be keen this time come on girls go you see how she's walking on this look rubbish not walking well on it at all come on girls Here's a block that's obviously been on four or six weeks either. We're gonna see how she's progressing. So the block's wearing really well. See how it's just a nice slope, still high at the heel, low at the front. So she's walking with most of the pressure on here, which is why it's wearing away. We're gonna trim this back a little bit, remove some of this loose horn with the grinder, and then use the knife. Okay, so from this really yellow horn and the red, I can tell that this has all been open. Like it's yellow because there's been white blood cells from flowing constantly into the horn, so it's been wide open. That's probably been a little bit of blood last time. There's still some loose horn here, but this is obviously pretty hard. So we'll just go ahead, make sure all these cracks and fissures are removed and keep her getting better. There you go, so it's still slightly open here, I'm slightly open here. I'm assuming there's been a big ulcer here and cracks into the white line with dermatitis on it last time. So she should be fully recovered after this block wears away, I would imagine. Spray with iodine. And let her rip, titter rip. Here you go, hellbilly hack. If it's a cold day and you've got no kettle. Blow torture coke. 
beautiful. Because it had been on so long, the, the horn had grown and come down the way this way. So the block had obviously moved with it. So she was walking back on her pastern. This is her pastern. So she was walking back on her pastern or her heel. So we're going to put this block on much further up towards the heel. Really, we should have seen her before it got that far and applied a block probably again about two months ago. A bit, a bit of glue in the back of the heel there just to make sure that it's supported at the back. Now here's the problem. Any problem in the toe is fairly severe for a cow because we can't really hide from it at all and it's hard to fix usually. Hopefully you'll see that she's walking much, much better just from a quick trim and a replaced block. So as you saw, that cow with the sore front right foot that had the block in the, in the wrong place has benefited massively just from one very quick trim. I removed the block and replaced it in a more appropriate position for her foot. That block had actually been on four and a half months when I looked at my computer. And the reason it, had, it was in the wrong place now was obviously the hoof is moving down as it grows. So obviously the block moves as well. So it's really important to take blocks like that off, otherwise the cow can end up with a stretched tendon, which is pretty much irreversible. Didn't really need to do very much to the one on the back and the one on the front right foot was really, really good, but slightly open. She should be pretty much sorted now completely. Today has ended really well when you think about how it started. It was seriously fucking cold and seriously wet. Anyway, Onwards and upwards, tomorrow's another day, and thank me out.